Welcome to Soccer Gaming and welcome to the 8th inning program on MLB The Show 21. In this episode, we're going to go over the players that you can get, what you're going to have to do to get them, the ways of doing it the quickest, and all of that good stuff. So if you'd like to watch that, stick around. I also want to remind you that I am doing a giveaway on December 1st where I pick a couple people to give some Amazon gift cards to for the holidays and so if you want to enter that make sure you comment down below on this episode make sure you also subscribe like it you can also go over to my twitter and retweet and follow my twitter as well and be entered to win so without further ado let's get this one started so the first thing is the players we're going to get you can either click on it to get to the eighth inning or you can go over here to programs and eighth inning is loaded locked and loaded ready to go 28 days fresh on this one so make sure that you jump in here knock out some of these get these done but basically to do all this you're going to need XP earned in this whole program in order to get the uh, the three guys that you saw there so I'm just gonna go over this and then I'll go over the three guys and kind of break that down and then we'll go over the tasks and stuff you will need to do to try to get them on your team. So starting out at 5k XP, you're going to choose three items for ball player. 10k, you're getting this universal profile nameplate. 17.5, you're getting headliners packs. Unlockables at 25k there with choose one item. You're getting a ball in his habit pack. You're actually getting two ball in his habit packs at 32.5, a gold ball player pack at uh, 40k, a space one pack at 55. Here are the players in that space one pack. Then at 70, you're going to get the universal profile icon. Love it. Love the art. 85K, you're getting 10 packs. Just MLB the show packs. Then at 100K, you're getting a choice pack from the eighth inning. And here are the players that are there. Troy Percival, uh, Ryan Klusko, and Blake Snell. Um, just kind of a little bit overview at these cards. The snow card's not too bad. The four seems 96. So nothing crazy with that card. Then you're going to get the Ryan Klusko. And again, a 95, you're getting the uh, the bronze defense. So not a good defensive guard, probably a guy that you only use for hitting. He's got that 104 and 100 in the contact and power right. Then you're going to get the Troy Percival card, a 95 as well. 98 on the four seam, uh, slider, change up, the uh, 12-6, hitting 77. Biggest, on, biggest thing to note on this is the 121 hits per nine and the 123 uh, Ks per nine as a closer. Then at 115K, you're going to get the Boston Unis. Then at 130, you're getting two Headliner Packs. At 145, you're getting a, a Zombie Profile Icon. At 160, you're getting Space 2 Packs. So here are the guys in the Space 2 Pack. Then at 175, you're getting an 8th Inning Classics player. And here are the players that you can get from there. Mitch Garber, Blake Turin, and Brian Anderson. So let's take a look at these cards, see if they're any good at 95s and 96s. Mitch Garver, pretty good in the in the contact left, power right, power left um, stance there for hitting. Discipline 99, 111 clutch, uh, bronze defense, so not a crazy card there. Can play catcher or first base. Then we got the Blake Turin uh, closing card. And 118 hits per nine is good, 106 Ks per nine. Everything else is kind of standard. But this is a very, very, um, very, very good pitching card as far as the velocities go. So 95 on the sinker, 90 on the slider, which is slowest pitch. Four seam hits 98, cutter hits 95, two seam hits 97. So he throws hard and hard all the time. So it's something to kind of talk about this card a little bit with. Then the Brian Anderson card, third base card, could play first, second, left field, right field. Does have the diamond defense. Keep that in mind. The diamond hitting to go along with it, but nothing in the hundreds as far as the hitting goes. Then at 190K, you're getting a zombie profile art icon there. Love to see that. 205, you're getting legendary icons. If you haven't, make sure you're still collecting those. Set 40 headliners packs, you're getting three of those at 220. 235, you're getting the Whaler Siren there. So if you're still needing um, a few of these, these um, sounds, make sure you grab that. Then at 250, you're getting a basically a jack-o'-lantern bat and this thing looks sick i love the way this looks it looks very clean very cool very spooky i'm hoping it glows i haven't seen anything yeah it does glows by moonlight so pretty sick bat skin there 270 getting a classic stadium 
290. You're getting the space three pack. Here are the players in the space three pack. If you haven't got them, you should have grabbed them there. Then you're getting the legend bat skins again. Just trying to make sure that you're grabbing at least one of the the ones that you haven't grabbed already. 330k. You're getting the San Francisco Giants home 1947 jerseys. There kind of look the love the way the New York. Um, it almost looks kind of like the Mets. But anyways, that's the Giants. Then at 350k, you are unlocking the eighth inning bosses. Kind of what we're all here for. Here are the guys you're gonna get: Willie Mays, Ernie Banks, or Chris Sale. So these are gonna be the guys that you get to choose from. I will go over them here in two seconds after we finish this out and show you their attributes. At 380k, you're getting the Cubs home 1902 jerseys, basically just the the white with the little blue stripe. 410k, you're getting 10 packs. Diamond ball player, uh, choose three items at 440. 470, you're getting a 42 uh, choice card. So again, if you haven't got one of these, make sure you go ahead and grab those. 500k, you're getting a ball in as a habit pack. You're getting five of them um, to help you out there. Diamond ball player, choose three items at 530k. 560k, you're getting a home run derby pack. So make sure you hopefully you can grab one of these 99s up top, either Mancini or P. Alonzo. 590 All Star Game packs there is what you're getting there. Hopefully again you can get Vladimir or Freddie Peralta with those drops. 620, you're getting a Field of Dreams pack here. These are the players in the Field of Dreams. And then at 650, you're getting the 90 plus Live Series card. And I got to be honest with you, last time I got this, I, I pulled Mike Trout from it. So always good to have a 90 plus Series card just grabbed in there. So that's going to be, you're going to have to get 650,000 XP in 28 days to be able to unlock everything. However, the big thing we're here for is the 8th inning bosses. That you only have to get 350,000 XP for. So let's take a look and see what these players are and what they can do. So Willie Mays in center field, first base, left field, right field. The hitting stats are there. The diamond defense, everything is basically maxed out, even the speed. So this is probably a top card that you're going to want in your lineup, especially against lefties and especially if you hit well with them, this is a very good card to have. So attributes wise, he's got the contact right, 117, contact left, 118, 113, power right, 123, 123 power left, vision at 110, 108 discipline, 119 clutch, everything like almost to the top it can be. And then we go over to the fielding, which is basically maxed out at the fielding too. A 99 fielding, a 96 arm, 98 accuracy, and 99 reaction in the center field. That kills it, but they even add the cherry on top. You're getting the 94 speed, the 91 steal, and the 96 base aggressiveness. So this is a, a pretty, this is a name game card. This is probably a card that is, especially if you hit well with it, uh, this is a max card basically that you get 99, you get 99s basically in the fielding and you get 95s basically in the speeds, especially once you parallel this card. And then you're getting 120s in the hitting as well with this card. So definitely a really, really good card out of the eighth inning. Next one to look is Ernie Banks. You know that Ernie Banks cards always slap. This one's a shortstop. Third base is secondary. So you get the diamond and diamond, as always, kind of with these in-game cards. Um, you're getting diamond and diamonds usually in this one, but you're going to 103 contact right, 114 contact left, 122 power right, 102 power left, 100 on the vision, 118 in the clutch. The fielding, not as good as the last card. This is still really good fielding. 92 fielding, 83 arm, 81 accuracy, 86 reaction, and a 54 speed. But again, at shortstop, it's not like you really need the speed there and what he kind of lacks in speed and stuff he makes for with fielding and all that good stuff. So definitely another good card and another good Ernie Banks card. And the next one is the last one to choose, and it is Chris Sale in the 300 Club. Take a look at this bad boy and this bad card. You only get four pitches, which I'm kind of surprised about. I'm surprised they didn't have the fifth pitch. Even though I feel like the fifth pitch is always kind of the outlier, like they don't really make it a great fifth pitch, so sometimes why have it? But I do feel like it kind of just adds adds up after a while. After you're 70, 80 pitches in and they've seen the same thing, same four pitches, they start locking in. So fifth to me, the fifth pitch is kind of just like a must, especially late this late in into the season and with a 99 card. However, the four seams hit 97, the slider's hitting 79, circle change at 84, and the sinker at 95 is the pitch velocities. Going over the control for him, it's pretty maxed out. 99 on the four seam, 93 on the slider, 99 in the circle change, and 95 on the sinker. 
Then we go over to the pitch break. 99 on the four seam, 99 on the slider, 96 on the circle change. Only an 81 on the slider, which I'm kind of surprised about. Um, but the slider is going to, or the sinker is going to be good anyway. So an 81 on that sinker. Now going over to the attributes, you're getting 110 stamina, 101 hits per nine, 121 Ks per nine, 98 walks per nine, 76 home runs per nine, 94 pitching clutch, 96 control, 96 velocity, and 99 break. So very, very good car, especially the lefty and sale. I kind of struggle hitting him. I know other people do as well. So definitely a good card to pick. So there are your three choices. Just uh, just out of like looking at this, my guy to pick would be William Mays. He's just the most complete player for everything. But Bernie Banks isn't bad at shortstop. Chris Sell's not a bad lefty to throw in there. Um, he'll probably be at least in your starting rotation for a little while. So how are you going to get those XP in the amount of time? You're going to get them with these daily missions, the missions the eighth inning stuff, and then the collections there. So daily missions, as always, you're going to get these missions every single day, and you're going to try to knock these out as fast as possible. Uh, stuff like exchange cleats and whatever's in this four spot are usually pretty easy things to do and knock out. Then you're going to get the missions, and these missions change, but they add to them. They don't change. They add to them. Um, so make sure you try to kind of do these, knock these out, um, this is online mode, this is online mode, and this is online mode where you have to either do it in ranked seasons, battle royale, or events. The extra innings one you have to do in the extra inning single player mode. So you have to win five games in order to get to 7,500 XP. Same thing, you got. You have to get 10 extra base hits with any postseason series or 2021 postseason series players in the extra inning um, single player mode. If you're wondering where that is at, I'll hop out here and show you. So single player modes here in the middle. You're going to go all the way over to extra innings. And then you're going to be playing these cards. And you can play them on veteran. Whatever you want to play them on uh, difficulty wise. That's where you find those. So after those missions are complete. You got the 8th inning back conquest. And this is a conquest map out. Take a look at it. Love it. See it. Kind of know what you need to do. Then uh, you got to acquire 99. Yeah. Doesn't look like you got to do anything crazy. Like steal fans or anything. So. Just knock this one out. When you have the chance, you'll be able to knock that out pretty easy. If you're looking for that through, not through the eighth inning, go here to single player modes, go over to conquest, and it should be the top one, uh, uh, top left one. If not, it just says eighth inning bat there in the top left. So after that is done, and after you got your 35,000 XP, it is the collections, and these collections are very important to get. You want to get these. You need to make sure that you try to get these because these are a huge boost. So like, if you get this and then this and this, that's already 90K to the 350. Then you knock out the Conquest. The 125,000 uh, just knocked out in these two things very quickly. So make sure you're doing your daily so that you can get uh, the Yadier Molina and uh, Wade Davis card. These are going to be through the dailies. So make sure you're knocking your dailies out. And then the eighth inning collection uh, is the seventh inning of bosses. And I say this every time about a couple days before. The new inning is coming out. Go out and buy the other two. I mean, yeah, they're going to be expensive, but not as expensive. And I feel like it's worth it. 50K XP plus, if I remember, hey, you get 40,000 stubs from this. So you're basically getting some portion of the cards back. I go out and buy them. I unlock one early on, sell it for a ton, like 300, 400,000. And then I go out and buy these uh, for whatever they are a couple days before. Uh, yesterday, two days before, two days ago when I bought them, they were around 200,000 each. So I was able to get them for like 180, 190 K. Um, so I ended up selling, I think I got Hank Aaron and sold him. No, I got Spencer Torkelson and sold him for about 435. So I basically bought or I sold Torkelson and bought, uh, Hank Aaron and Torkelson back from that amount. And then Tony Gwynn. So you can honestly do this and spend maybe 20,000 stubs. If you sell them for like 400 or whatever, and then you come back and buy them later when they're cheaper. But these are the three cards. So we're going to go ahead and lock them in. Get the 40K with it. Boom. And just like that, you just locked in 50,000 XP on the journey. So you see we're already at 50,000 XP. Next thing you're going to do, knock out these awards. The fastest way of doing it is the 8th inning collection. Knock that out. Get it done. These you're going to have to work on and make sure that you're doing your dailies to get these guys. Once you get them, 
play through their evolution program and you will unlock their final card which you can lock in here and then i would suggest going over to conquest and knocking out the conquest while still trying to hit your daily missions so like the blue jays pitching um eight innings just and pick a pit take a pitcher in the eighth in conquest and pitch him for eight innings and you get more xp that's going to do it for this episode. If you have any questions, comment them down below. The seventh inning is over. Eighth inning is here. You got 28 days to finish the eighth inning before the ninth inning comes out. So make sure you guys get ahead of it, get those things knocked out, and get these three great cards. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button because there will be more MLB content coming out soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. Slacker out.